Okay, it's 6.30 in the morning here. My DMs are absolutely flooded with so many of you guys discussing everything in regards to Jonathan Oddy. We're gonna break into this because a lot of information is swirling around this man. And we're gonna wrap this video up in no less than 10 minutes. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hope you guys are all doing well today. Back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button guys. It is daily and consistent content. Comment down below. I would appreciate it. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, please. I'm doing this video at 6.30 in the morning. Whew. And yes, and a super thanks. Okay, so let's get into this. This whole conversation about Jonathan Oddy. Who was Jonathan Oddy? He was arrested due to a situation in relation to, you know, a shooting, Donald Trump, and etc. Um, this video of him um, that has resurfaced is a video that belongs to the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. That is who this video belongs to, where he was being interviewed. Long story short, this video is from three years ago when it was, you know, uploaded, but roughly belonging, you know, to the time era of 2018, 2019 is when, you know, this, this took place. Now, um, before we get into what this video is, I'm gonna give a quick review. This video has resurfaced. And um, whilst it belongs to um, the Real World Police YouTube channel, and you know, the Florida department, it has resurfaced because there are other con um, content creators, commentators, DJ Academics, DJ Tells, Tasha K, who've all spoken on this, and that has helped re-erupt this conversation in regards to this specific video. I wanna make it clear that this video does belong to um, the Florida State Department. Um, the real world police are the ones who uploaded this content. This is where this content is from. Now, long story short, he goes into the fact that he was a, a S slave and the fact that he contracted herpes and the fact that he had to do things for Diddy and for Cassie and that, you know, he was Diddy's S slave and that talks about mind control in, um, in terms of, you know, um, Satanism and demonic stuff and how to use that when it comes to essay. A lot of intense stuff. And I think if you're watching this, you know the gist of what this man has said um, to basically kind of add credence to what Cassie was saying and what she was doing in those freak offs. Now, Recently, you know, it's come to the public's attention that this man has passed away. People find that airy. Jonathan Odi is not dead. He is not dead. It's misinformation that is being presented. This man has not passed away in any capacity. That's why I wanted to do this video. I didn't want to touch the Jonathan Oddy stuff because honestly, guys, it's very triggering for me the way he speaks about this stuff. He seems very disassociated, which I can understand as a trauma response because I end up being very dissociated when I discuss that stuff. I, I bl blank out, I space out. So to watch that, it's just very unpleasant for me. It's extremely dark energy and I don't find it comfortable. It's very triggering enough for me as it is to speak about all of this stuff. I'm not going to lie to you. There are days where I have dreams of Diddy, days I can't sleep, days, you know, where I'm, I, like, probably why I'm up till 7 a.m. Like, I'm, I've never had this sleeping pattern until I've spoke about the Diddy stuff. It's a lot for somebody like me who's been a victim of essay and trafficking and etc. It's been, it's, it's, and, you know, to do things for, for, for men who are sick and disgusting, like, it's, it's, it's disgusting. So, I didn't really want to touch this, but a lot of people are saying that he's dead. The man is not dead, guys, and if you look at court documents, we're going to get into that. Now, there are several false obituaries that have planted online. Guys, these obituaries are fake. They're not real. Anybody should be able to tell that they're not real. Because once you click on a obituary, virus links pop up. It's spam. It's, it, it's false. Remember a couple of week, a weeks ago, guys, when Kim Porter's Wikipedia page disappeared and reappeared? People are just playing games. That's all it really is. There's, another, uh, there's a YouTube video entitled um, Jonathan Odie dead in Florida. And when you click on it, it's an Indian man speaking. That is spam. <laughs> it's not real. Nobody's death would be there and you click on it and it's a man in India speaking. It doesn't make any sense. All you have to do, guys, is look at court documents um, and they literally genuinely show that he has a hearing um, within a month uh, in January. But the, um, Audi looking at information, um, his arrest date, and then, you know, his hearing date, which of the Americans do it differently. Okay, so it's January the 9th, 2024, hearings at 9 a.m. That is when his hearing is set. So evidently, these court documents wouldn't show a hearing is being set if he died. There are also somebody else with these court documents informing other people that the obituary is fake news. He's not dead, guys. And I feel like it's so easy for misinformation to spread like wildfire when it comes to the internet. And it is, you know, frustrating to see. Not only that, guys, but if you do a MDCR inmate search, which you can do, www.miamidade.gov, and you type in his name and etc. it very well tells you his location, his height, and the fact that he's present. And his name comes up 
um, and that you know there's no bond submitted so he's currently still sitting in jail as of right now so this man is still alive it comes up on the inmate search it's what you can do is all public information and you know court documents show there's a hearing date on the 1st of January of uh, 9th of January in 2024 so those two present forms of information are factual and imply and show factually that is factual information that Jonathan Oddie is alive so the reason why I wanted to do this video quickly is purely because there's a lot of misinformation that he's dead he's passed away everybody's discussing it people are in my DM saying he's dead guys he's dead this guy Jonathan's dead speak on him Arad if you look at factual information when it comes to inmate searches and court documents the man is very much alive he's not dead it's people are just playing games it's very easy to do so no obituary if you click on it will have virus links that show up <laughs> that goes to show you it is clearly fake there's three to four of them each one you click virus links show up an Indian man speaks in a YouTube video that claims that he's dead that in itself is pure spam. <laughs> it's all spam. And so I want to make that very clear to you guys um, because I feel like, you know, we got to really look at stuff and not spread misinformation. I'd, as I said before, this is not salacious gossip. We are speaking about human beings here. We are speaking about victims of SA, trafficking, serious, significant stuff. And unless you've been through something like that, which fortunately most of the world have not been through it, you will never understand the depth and substance of these conversations and how significantly important they are to victims who've been through stuff like this and how triggering and traumatic it is. It's insane. Every time I speak about it, my heart just beats because it's just a lot to think about. My mind is racing right now, which is why I'm probably speaking quite fast. But this man is not dead. Inmate search show it. Court documents show it. He's got a hearing in a month. These obituary um, fake news. The link to the YouTube video. All of that is fake news. All of that is false, 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 false. People are just playing games. That is really it. I don't think anybody wants us to think that um, he's dead because it's very clear to see that these links are very fake. If anybody wants to make us think that they're dead, then the official sites can easily delete information. They haven't done that. It's very much there for people to see. So I don't think anybody wants us to think that he's dead. I just think there are just the people who are just playing games online and creating fake links. It's very easy to do that. It's very quick to do stuff like that where, you know, people want to think that he's dead. The man is not dead. <laughs> he's very much alive. It's misinformation. Um, people calm down. And I believe he probably was part of the freak offs. And I believe there are many more, many more who choose not to speak up. And the only reason he's speaking up is because it was recorded via, you know, the Florida um, Police Department in Miami. Oh, hopefully that dispels everything and people have more of a grounding understanding for what is going on. I just want to make a quick 10 minute video just to wrap this up because it clearly is spread by wildfire and hopefully the DMs can stop so that you guys can, be that's why I wanted to make this video. I'm not going to respond to every single DM just to let you guys know, guys, the man's not dead. Please stop DMing me about him or showing me these videos. It's also very triggering for me. So I don't really want to keep being sent information 24 7 by people it's just a lot for me to deal with if something's going on online about diddy don't worry i will know about it on my own accord i don't want to be sent things i want to be able to breathe and have space away from it when i can because it's a lot to deal with and the man is just weird and abusive and disgusting uh and ill like ah i'm mirroring him with the men that I, and i just i don't want to do that and i feel like i'm doing that and this can be intense so Breathe Maraud. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Click that button for daily and consistent content. Comment down below if you guys wish to. I would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, I don't know why I'm saying thank you. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Comment down below, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.